Good afternoon, Jasmine. Good afternoon, Mom. Okay, Jasmine. Can you tell me about yourself? I'm Asmit Perez, 31 years old, single mom with one child from Cuenca, Patangas. I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? To earn money for my family and my son. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? To experience new job. How are you qualified for this job? Because I'm a hard-working, perseverance, and legal to multitasking mom. May I know what your educational level is? I'm only a high school graduate mom. What was your recent working experience? Nothing, ma'am. What was your recent working experience? From electronic space, ma'am. As a QC inspector, ma'am. Okay. Have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. How about elderly? Yes, ma'am. And whose elderly was that? My father-in-law and my ex-husband, ma'am. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Are you willing to learn Come again, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook, Hasmin? Filipino food, ma'am. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I mentioned to you, which do you like most? Cleaning, ma'am. If ever ma you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kid? My mother. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, mom. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return it back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, mom. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing using your handphone, okay, they can confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, mom. Okay, instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed to the terms and conditions? Yes, mom. Okay, are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years contract, mom. Can you describe for me your attitude? I'm a friendly, hardworking, and a perseverance person, mom. Okay. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Just try me, mom. Okay. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, mom. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, mom. Can you promise not to ask for advanced salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, mom. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? 
No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke, Kasmin? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Fit to work, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of different races? Yes, ma'am. Are you preferred to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your, from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any family members working here in Malaysia, Hasmin? No, ma'am. Okay, we have finished our question section. Okay, let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to respond truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if ever one of your family members passed away, okay, Yasmin, what will you do? Um, I will send back money from them, then um, continue in my contract, mom. Okay, again, Yasmin, tell us about yourself. Um, I'm hardworking, perseverance, and I can do multitasking jobs, mom. Why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? To earn money for my family and for my son, mom. Okay, if ever your employer is watching you right now, what do you want to tell them? Um, just try me, sir, mom. Anything else you want to tell to your employer? Why they need to hire you? Because I'm a hardworking person, mom, and I can assure that they I will do their... Uh, um, there are uh, my obligation as a uh, as a domestic helper for them, ma'am. Okay, thank you very much, Jasmine. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Yes, ma'am. 